Okay, so what symptoms have I been feeling? I have marked them all down. Of course, I did not bring them into this bathroom, but I will say my nose, my sense of smell has been um, more sensitive. I really do think I'm pregnant. I really feel like this took and the baby's, that's what the tugging is, is like the baby is snuggling in. What the fertility? Let's get these babies, ladies. Hello, how are you? Today is Sunday, it is April 4th. Happy Easter. And because I had my transfer on the 31st, that means that my days past transfer line up exactly with the day of the month, so I'm four days past transfer or nine DPO. Ah. So I've just gotten out of the tub did a little something with my face, and I still need to lotion my body though, but I've got some tests. So here's the deal. Talk to my TTC sisters, my day ones, and I gotta start somewhere. So let's start here and we can do a line progression because we are just gonna name it and claim it in the name of Jesus, amen. And what better day to start than the day that he is risen. So I've got a couple of tests, well, four tests to be exact, that I've already opened up. I'm going to dip them. And um, disclaimer, two of them are expired. Hang on, the puppy just got a hold of something crinkly. Let me stop this. <laughs> All right, I'm back, just as I thought. She got a hold of uh, one of the pregnancy tests. Okay, so two of them are expired because when I bought them, who knew I would not be pregnant? Um, in 2020 at the latest. So this one is a good one. This one just expired last week, so I'm not that worried about it. And I don't even know. This one expired in August of last year, but I'm gonna use it anyway, because we gotta start somewhere. So I've already marked them for the sake of time. So I'm going to start dipping. I've got a Wanfo. I just checked online, it's 25, what is it? Milliliter International or Milliliter International Unit per milliliter, I think is what it said. Anyway, let's just get going. Otherwise I will ramble on. Let's start with this one because I already opened it. I opened these and marked them already just for the sake of time. So, Let's see if I can get that in there. There we go. Have my handy dandy urine cup here. And we're just going to drop it. Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. I might have been a little overzealous, but it's going across now. I don't know if I can show you without spilling. Cause I, like I said, was a little overzealous. You can see that, right? It's getting, the dye is going across. Okay, so that's in there. I'm gonna put it back in here. One and done. Then, let's see, the one foe. Okay, the one foe is not expired. There it is. Before testing, and then I'm gonna dip it. I'm gonna keep it in there until I see the dye go up because I've had it before where it got stuck. Okay, there it is, it's going across. Okay, so put that in. <sighs> and then let's start. I don't know what test this is. I took them all out of their boxes when I moved so I could consolidate it all. But that's what it looks like there. Um, let's just dip it. These are five minute tests, I think. Well, like I said, I don't know which test this is. So we're gonna test them all for five minutes. Okay, that's going across. You can see those. It's going across, going back in here, and the first response. 
kind of wish I had one of those that says pregnant because that's or it has the plus sign because that's what I got with um, Applejack. But it's okay. Ah, I'm dropping stuff. Okay, I'm dipping it. Where'd the wrapper go? All right. Okay, I see the dye coming up. It going across there okay and ooh, in the wrapper it goes hey siri set a timer for five minutes okay your timer is set for five minutes all right so there we go i am gonna lotion myself up before i turn into ash um Okay, so what symptoms have I been feeling? I've marked them all down. Of course, I did not bring them into this bathroom, but I will say my nose, my sense of smell has been um, more sensitive. Actually, you know what? I think I have some on the phone. Uh, my boobs are bigger. You can't really see that. They're not sore, though, and I think that is really from the progesterone. I would say the sense of smell is, the, is like the strongest. So yesterday when we were still at the rental house, like I could smell the girl's wee wee pad really strongly and I'm getting lotion on my phone. Headaches, I had a headache yesterday. I don't have one today. Lower back pain, which is something that I get like when my period is starting. Uh, I had that yesterday and today, the day before, it's nice that the rental car had um, heated seats because I definitely used those while I was driving back. Uh, my abdomen, that's the biggest thing that I don't think is um, like progesterone related. I've had a lot of twitching and pulling and tightening in my abdomen and it feels like a heaviness. So yeah, that's like my biggest thing. And again, I was, I don't know, I don't want to talk myself out of it, but I also don't want to just be like, imagining things because I'm like what if I have gas or not because I did have gas and so maybe that's but I don't think that there would be like um heaviness from the gas if that makes sense like it's a uterine heaviness and the twitchy part so we'll see the uber driver when I got in the uber after I took the rental car back yesterday um if this is your first time watching sorry I did a um embryo moon out in the Hamptons and so we rented a house and rented a car so that's what I'm talking about hopefully you know oh and I should say I'm Tanika welcome thank you Thank you for watching this. Um, I hope that you will stick around, hit the subscribe button, hang out with the fertility fam for a little bit. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. All right, now that we have all the business out of the way, the Uber driver picked me up and his cologne was bumping. Now, granted, it could have just been that it was bumping, but we're masked and the window was down. So I'm just gonna mark that as a sign. I've never had that driver before, so again, it could just be, you know, he could just be one of those men that wears a lot of cologne. And then I've had a lot of bowel movements, which is, I don't need to say TM, I should say, there's, I should do a disclaimer, right? We're gonna be talking about pregnancy and bodily functions, urine, and et cetera. So anyway, which typically I would expect not to because of the progesterone, but they've been pretty regular, so I feel like my body is processing my food quickly, and it's been like a soft serve, totally TMI. I don't know, like that's not normal for me. The only other time it's really like that is if I've taken a bunch of magnesium to help move things along, but I have not had any magnesium. I stopped taking that. The The last time I had it was the night before transfer, so that was the 30th, and I haven't had any since then, so it wouldn't still be in my system that long. Anyway, so that's what I'm kind of feeling um, symptom-wise. I had a lot of vivid dreams last night. I had a really crazy one about my ex, which was... It was really specific <laughs> and I had one about work where, it, well, I just won't go into it, but it was really like a very vivid uh, dream. <sighs> I'll just, I'll leave it at that. What else is going? Oh, vaginal discharge has been a thing as well. Like it's been a little creamy, not, I don't know how else to describe it. It's not like pre ovulation creamy but it is yeah I don't know I don't know how to describe it that could also be the estrogen although I would think not because after transfer the day after transfer we reduced my estrogen that was one of the instructions so I had been taking 
starting the Friday. So my transfer was Wednesday, the 31st of March. So starting the Friday before we had um, gone up to three tablets a day. So that was a total of six milligrams of the estrogen. And then up until the day of transfer, it was six milligrams. And then the day after the first, I, I went back down to four milligrams. And so I wouldn't think that then I would now have cervical mucus because of that. Um, because when I upped it to six, I didn't have any. So um, I think that might be a symptom. Again, it could all be in my head. I don't know, but I really Sounds crazy, because I just went through IVF. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be pregnant? I really do think I'm pregnant. I really feel like this took, and the baby's, that's what the tugging is, is like the baby is snuggling in. And the girls have been more snuggly with me. Now, granted, we were away on vacation, so that might be why, but like they wanted to both be in my lap, like laying on my legs and just, ooh. Okay, stop, that was fast. Okay, let's go. Now I got all this lotion on my head. Let's... Ah! Okay. That was super fast, guys. I don't know. Let's start with the expired one, so that way if it's not, it's not that disappointing. Whoa, can't even get my robe on properly here. Okay. Let's move the lotion. She puts the lotion in the basket. How about she just puts it on the tongue? There we go, okay. Let's start with the expired one. This one expired um, 8 of 2020, and I'm gonna say, don't see anything there. Okay, yeah. Let's move on. This is the one for... That control line is super long, but I do not see, oh, maybe I do. I see something, but I feel like that is too far over. You see that? I think it's too far down to be the line. Let me look at this. Yeah. That's too far over. Okay. Oh. Look at this one. <gasps> I see a faint line. I knew it. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Let's see if you guys can see this. Let's see. Again, this is the one of the expired ones, so we're not gonna go too crazy. But do you see that line? Sorry, this light. I have a side light over here. Gosh darn it. Can you see that? Like right there. Right there. Oh my God. Oh my God. The visualization, everything. God is so good. Okay. Oh my God. I don't see anything on this one now. And this one's not the expired. This one's not expired. Damn it. Okay. I don't know, guys. And because I don't know what brand this is, I can't even check like the. But I, I definitely see a line there. We're just gonna have to test again tomorrow. We we said this was gonna be baseline, so oh man. I wanted it to be on this first response though so badly. Oh wait. Is there? I do think I see a faint, but you guys see that. Do you see something? Oh, it's not in the camera at all. Okay, we're just not gonna count it because like this one, I see something. I'm gonna take a picture of this and this to somebody. Oh, somebody is around their phone right now. Oh my God. Yeah, guys, I see a line there. Oh man, how, oh, come on. Was this one expired? Yeah, this one was expired too, but there's nothing on that one. And the Wanfo. <sighs> I'm gonna send it, I'm gonna send it to Tamika TTC. Um, and Genesis, let's see if one of them gets back to me. I see a line there though, guys, for sure. 
it's faint, but there is a line. Okay, so we just have to test again tomorrow. But I won't be able to test with one of these because that's the only one I had. Why didn't it come through on the first response? I think there is one on the first. Um, oh wait, this is... Hey girl, I'm recording. <laughs> wait. Do you see... No, no, do you see a second line on that one? I do. Okay. Oh my god, okay. Yes, but there's one on on the first response. It's like super, super faint. It doesn't show up on the camera, but on this one it does. So I'm just like, it's it's only four days. I'm gonna test again tomorrow. I don't even have to zoom that in. I can see. Okay. Okay, I was like, am I tripping? Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, thank you. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Yay! Oh my god, okay, she sees it. So you have to have another TTC sister see it because, and I know some of you are, but otherwise you'll have line eyes and I'm like, oh my god, and all these other ones are not showing anything. <sighs> Let me send one to Ms. Wiley. Okay, I think that's it, guys. Listen. We're gonna go with it. We're just gonna test it. Actually, you know what? This is first morning urine. See, now I've turned into a crazy person. This is first morning urine. And my transfer was like after two. It was like right around two o'clock, 1.45, two o'clock. Um, I'd have to look at my phone and see when I took the picture. So I'm not technically like a full four. So I'm gonna do an afternoon one today. We're not gonna wait till tomorrow, girl. We're gonna do one later, like tonight. I do see one on here on this verse. It's like super, super faint. I wish like if there was a way for me to pop this plastic out, I think you could see it on the camera. It's just that it's got like a glare on there. Um, this is making me mad. You know how you see those videos where there are people who are like, there's a second line. Hey, like, girl. I swear there is a, we just, listen, we gonna test later. Okay, thank you ladies, I will talk to you later. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm excited, um, but I'm also cautious, but I'm just gonna praise him and thank him. And um, we are one step closer. We are one step closer. Sorry if there's noise. I don't know if I said that. I left my terrace door open because I was hot um, coming out of the tub. That is another symptom. Night sweats and hot flashes. I think it could be the progesterone too though, but that is like, whew, heat. There was a motorcycle going by, so oh, we'll test later, we'll test later. Oh my God, yay, it's only four days. Well, it's almost four days, but it'll be four, we'll get some more urine. It'll be a full four. Yes, oh my God, yes. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. I am tripping. So the one that is positive, that is strong positive, is not expired. That one doesn't expire till 1031 of 21. You see that one? Is that focus? There we go. And that is the one that's showing. The second one. It's this one that is expired. The first response that is like a squinter. So not that I needed an excuse, but I've opened up a new box of fresh first response that are... These only expired until 2023, so we gonna crack this open. This is why you pee in a cup, lady, so you can retest. I saw somebody last night. I've been watching like crazy uh, pregnancy test videos. Surprise, surprise. And some girl was doing it, like just putting in her stream and was trying to like do two, three tests at a time and then was running out. I was like, oh no, no. But one of her friends hooked her up. Okay, so here's before I dip it. There's that one. And this is FMU. I think I said that before. First morning urine. But I'm dipping. Okay. That is going across. There, we're gonna put it in here. Let me just mark it on this end. Set a timer for five minutes. Okay, five minutes of counting. Okay, oh my God. I'm gonna do number two. Put that on there like that. Okay. So I'm not gonna hold you guys because I'm in here being silly. So I'll come back when the timer goes off. All right. All right, here we go. 
Oh my god, it's 1.15. What have I been doing all morning? Okay, is this the one? Yeah, this is number two. Okay. Um, mm -mm. Girl. I don't know. I said we gotta do that much squinting, we gotta count it out. Okay, we're gonna leave these alone, we're gonna wait. Now I don't know if I have it in my heart to do it again later today. Like I said, again, this was like from 7.30 this morning. It is 1.15 right now, so. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow morning. Just to give it a full. We got a positive, right? We got the one test that's a positive. It's not expired. So just let's give it more time to cook. I think it just needs more time for the first response to show up. Um, this is not the other first response. The one that says pregnant, I think it has a lower HCG measurement uh, or not. It doesn't say pregnant. It has a plus or a minus. And um, I don't know, I feel like I kind of want to order them on Amazon. Can I get it here by tomorrow? Or maybe I go to the store and get one for tomorrow. I gotta, I gotta order food. I'm getting lightheaded and a little crazy, I think. So I'll see you guys later, either tomorrow or later tonight. We'll see. Hello there. Faith over fear. I'm back. I'm ready to take another test. I have four tests and the puppies got a hold of this one. I don't know if you could see. The little, yeah, the chew marks on there. Anyway, I have labeled them all. So these are the PMs. Uh, there we go. And we're gonna do another first response. Cheyenne went to the corner store and got me a signal so we'll do that one and then this is i think i'm not going to take any more wand for i'll do it today and then not again probably till thursday because i've just been watching a bunch of videos and the wand bows don't show up early so i think this is like a 25 measures a 25 so anyway two three four five and these i always worry after i had that one that was just got stuck. Let me see if I lay it flat, if it'll go across, yeah. So that one is moving across. So we'll put that, and then I just realized that the first response is a three minute and this other one is a three minute and these are five minutes. So I'm going to do these first. I'm still gonna set the timer for five, but I'll start it as soon as I get this one in the cassette. I didn't log the time that I did this year, but I know it was after eight o'clock. It was after my progesterone injection and my evening, um, okay, that's going across. After my evening um, estradiol. I'm just gonna flick the rest out, okay. That one is going across. Well. I'm recording. Oh, sorry. Okay. Hey Siri. Set an alarm for five minutes. Your alarm is set for 10.58. Okay. Then we're going to do this one. I see that going up. And then the first response. These first response, there's a, whoa, there's an app that goes with it now and I put it on the app. The app could not see the second line earlier, so. But I did get a second line, so we're just gonna, the second line is the second line. There we go. Okay, that's it. Let me go see what Cheyenne needs. Okay. <sighs> Let's just start with the wand bow because I don't have high hopes for it. And I don't. Mm. 
I have zero feels about that one. <laughs> uh, you know what, now my glasses have a glare because I was looking into that light. Let's see. I don't think so. Let me turn this light down. No, okay. What is that? Do you guys see something? Change the light again. I think I might see something on this. Let me, I'm gonna ask Cheyenne to look at it. I can't tell on this light, so um, here's this. Oh, this is a blue dye. I didn't know it was a blue dye. I have the worst glitter now. I'm gonna say no. I don't see any die. Okay, first response. I'm gonna open it up on the app and see what the app says. I'm blinded because I looked into the light, so I really can't. Let's see what the little app has to say. That's how I realized this was three minutes. It'll let you set a timer when you take the test. But I already waited, so we can just scan the test. Not pregnant. It says it only got one line. So, okay. So there you go, we'll do it again tomorrow. Oh, finish session. It says make sure there's good lighting. I think this is good lighting. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. That's all right. We got one this morning. We're in the game. It's early. It's technically only nine days post ovulation or four days past um, my five day frozen embryo transfer. So we'll. We'll try again tomorrow in the morning. <sighs> Technically, I probably should wait two days. Like, let's give it a chance to double. So I probably, tomorrow's Monday. Let's do it again on Tuesday just so I don't rack my nerves. Let's do that. <clears throat> At least on camera. <laughs> Hopefully I can stop testing. But yeah, I'll see you again on Tuesday, which will be... But it will be six days um, post five day transfer or what is that? 11 days. That'll be 11 DPO. So yeah, let's do that. <sighs> Keep our sanity. We got a positive. Let's not be greedy. We got it on Easter. God has got me. So faith over fear. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. <sighs> Baby does to us all.